Hey lovely, if you've been diagnosed with endometriosis, you might have a whole lot of questions swirling around in your mind. One common concern many women have is whether endometriosis can cause weight gain. Let's break it down together and talk about what's really going on with your body and how to navigate these changes. Stay tuned. Hello, if this is our first time connecting, welcome. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specializes in fertility and reproductive conditions. I'd love you to subscribe, connect with me on my socials and download some of my free resources. You'll find more info in the description box below this video. So in this episode of Nourish, we're looking at the question, does endometriosis make you gain weight? Now, in case you're still wrapping your head around your diagnosis, endometriosis is a condition where tissue, similar to the lining inside your uterus, the endometrium, grows outside your uterus. Now this misplaced tissue can cause pain, inflammation and other symptoms, especially during your period. But where does weight gain fit into this? Well, endometriosis itself doesn't directly cause weight gain, but some aspects of the condition and its management might make you notice the scale creeping up. So let's have a look at what they are. Number one, hormonal treatments and weight gain. Some women with endometriosis are prescribed hormonal treatments such as birth control pills, progesterone therapies, or gonadotropin releasing hormone agonists to help manage their symptoms. Now, while these treatments can be a game changer for reducing pain and slowing the growth of endometrial tissue, they sometimes come with side effects, including weight changes. Hormones play a huge role in how our bodies regulate fat storage, appetite, and metabolism. Some women may notice weight gain or changes in where fat is distributed, hello bloating, when they start taking hormonal medications. But don't worry, not everyone experiences this, and if you do, it's often manageable through lifestyle adjustments, such as balanced nutrition and regular physical activity. Now, if you're concerned, talk to your doctor or dietitian about finding a treatment that works best for you with minimal side effects. Number two is chronic pain and fatigue can impact on your lifestyle. Endometriosis often causes chronic pelvic pain and fatigue, which can make staying active a real challenge. When you're in pain or feeling exhausted, exercising can be the last thing on your mind, and that's completely understandable. Over time, decreased physical activity can lead to weight gain. It's important to listen to your body and rest when needed, but gentle movement, such as walking, Pilates, or swimming, can actually help relieve some endometriosis symptoms. Not only can exercise boost your mood and energy levels, but it also helps regulate hormones and support a healthy metabolism. Number three, inflammation and bloating. Endometriosis is an inflammatory condition and chronic inflammation can lead to bloating and fluid retention. Now this can make you feel heavier or make your clothes feel tighter, even if you haven't gained fat. Inflammation can also affect how your body stores fat, especially around your tummy. Focusing on an anti-inflammatory diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats, such as omega-3s from fish or flax seeds, and whole grains may help to reduce bloating and support your overall health. And number four is emotional eating. Because let's be real, living with a chronic condition such as endometriosis can be stressful. The pain, fatigue, and emotional toll it takes can sometimes lead to emotional eating or changes in appetite. If you find yourself reaching for comfort foods or overeating during stressful moments, it's okay, don't beat yourself up, you are not alone. Recognizing the connection between stress and eating habits is the first step in finding balance. If this sounds like something that you're dealing with, a dietitian can help you to, to develop strategies to manage stress and nourish your body in a way that feels good. Now, if you've noticed some weight changes and you're feeling uncomfortable in your body, 
there are gentle ways to manage your weight without adding extra pressure on yourself. So here are a few tips. Firstly, focus on anti-inflammatory foods. Fill your plate with fruits, veggies, lean proteins and healthy fats to help combat inflammation. Omega-3 fatty acids in particular are great for reducing inflammation. So think salmon, chia seeds and walnuts. Secondly, stay active in a way that works for you. You don't have to hit the gym hard to feel good. Gentle activities such as swimming, walking or even stretching can help your body get moving and reduce stress. Listen to your body and move in ways that feel kind. Thirdly, prioritize self-care and stress management. Endometriosis is stressful, there's no doubt about it. Finding ways to manage stress, such as reading, journaling, or even talking to a therapist can reduce emotional eating and support your overall, overall well-being. And then fourthly, staying hydrated. Bloating and water retention can be a really annoying part of living with endometriosis. Drinking plenty of water helps to flush out excess sodium and reduce bloating. And then finally, consider working with a dietitian. We can help you to develop a personalized eating plan that manages your symptoms, supports your energy levels, and helps with any weight changes in a healthy, balanced way. While endometriosis itself doesn't directly cause weight gain, Factors such as hormonal treatments, inflammation and lifestyle changes related to pain and fatigue can certainly play a role. If you're noticing weight changes and are feeling a little overwhelmed, give yourself some grace. Your body is dealing with a lot and it's okay to seek support. Whether it's through managing stress, focusing on anti-inflammatory nutrition or finding gentle ways to stay active, there are plenty of strategies to help you feel good in your body. And remember, a dietitian can be an amazing resource to guide you through this journey with endometriosis. You've got this. I'll see you in my next video. Where or channel? Sorry. Decreased activity.